Welcome to the AutoSys training video. In this video, we will walk you through the SQL jobs and show you how you can automate your database tasks using the SQL jobs. By the end of this video, you will learn to create and run SQL jobs to automate database tasks. To enhance the learning experience, we will use an example of a fictitious bank called Headmoral Bank and demonstrate how to automate their database tasks using SQL jobs to resolve some of their challenges. Headmoral Bank is a multinational financial services holding company involved in consumer banking, corporate lending, asset management, wealth management, and investment. It has many branches across the world. The IT department of Headmoral Bank manages a diverse range of hardware, such as machines, servers, devices, and the associated agents across the various locations. Recently, they integrated with an incident management and ticketing system to track and resolve system-related issues reported by employees. When employees report issues, it is critical for the IT team to quickly identify the affected machines or devices to initiate timely troubleshooting and resolution. However, due to the manual process followed by the IT department, the ticketing system doesn't have the access to the latest machine data. The department manually runs the SQL query on the database to fetch the machine and the agent data from the database for the consumption of the ticketing system at regular intervals. This process not only creates a data lag, but is also time consuming and error prone. To overcome this challenge, the workload automation developers at Headmoral Bank can set up the AutoSys SQL job to automate the data fetch from the database at regular intervals. Before we create and set up the SQL job, let's understand how the SQL job functions. The SQL job type automates the SQL query run in a database. On execution, the SQL job runs the specified SQL query and stores the results of the SQL query in an output or job spool file. The SQL job also enables us to use the query results to specify the SQL job success or failure criteria. If the query results match the specified criteria, the job runs successfully. If not, the job fails. Let's enter our training environment and create a SQL job to automatically fetch the machine and agent names from the database and store them in an output file. We will also monitor the events log of the SQL job run using the auto syslog command. For this demo, we will assume that the environment settings for auto sys are already in place. To create a SQL job using a Jill script, connect to the auto sys server running on a Linux operating system and open the primary and secondary shell prompts. In the primary shell prompt, open a text file using a text editor like VI. Define the SQL job definition using the Jill attributes. Provide a unique name for the job definition. Define the job type as SQL. Provide the target machine name. Ensure that the specified machine is defined with an autosys and that the system agent and database plugins are installed. If not, on execution, the job fails. Specify the owner's name. Ensure the owner is a valid database user authorized to run the SQL query. The user must be the actual database user on the database where the query will execute. The user's credentials should also be configured in AutoSys by your AutoSys administrator. If not, on execution, the job fails. Define SQL Query. Provide a destination file with a complete file path to store the SQL query results. Define the connect string to specify the database resource location. Now save the text file. Once you have defined a job in a text file, you must create the job on the scheduler. To do so, in the Jill interface, provide the job definition file name as an input and press enter to create the job. Jill command returns the exit code as zero if the job creation is successful. Let's run the auto syslog command with option E in the secondary shell prompt 
to monitor the event logs of the SQL job run. Now that you have successfully created a job, let's manually start the job for this demo. To do so, in the primary shell prompt, start the job using the send event command. If the start conditions are met, the job starts. The SQL job executes the SQL query to fetch the machine and agent data from the database and store it in the specified output file. You may notice that the auto syslog command utility displays the event log, showing the current status of the SQL job in the secondary shell prompt. The command displays the start, running, and success states of the job, and shows the exit code once the job is in the success state. You can also check the status of the job by running the auto rep command in the primary shell prompt. Thank you for watching the training video on SQL Jobs.